crawl inside my creative brain and think outside the box. Fine art photography by Fred Moore. Imagine if you will. Well, uh, exposure. A man who frequents his local art gallery falls in love with a classic painting. One day, he takes his obsession too far. Now that is pretty fucked up now, isn't it? Imagine having a shower in your newly renovated shower. The drain is very large. Then the fearful question pops into your mind. What if, what if I get sucked down the drain? Well, that would really suck now, wouldn't it? In the beginning, God created photographers. Without us, the world would be pretty fucking boring. Imagine being on a beach and this fucking face pops you to the sand. Well now, I'm willing to bet you would shit your skids real good. All this talk of bloody experts. Prove to me that man is not the brightest big light bulb on this planet. And in regards to this COVID bullshit, this was the first impression that came into my mind. As the nuns have a pretty sorted history, I don't think I want to see this side of one of them. Have you ever had a good idea pop into your head? No, I didn't figure so. The optical illusion. If you can't answer this one, you best be getting your eyes checked. Is the canvas rolled down or is it rolling up? So these two netwits are going on their first vacation. Edgar Allan Poe was the most creative writer in our history. Whether he was a drunk or a heroin addict, it doesn't fucking matter. His writings are so surreal. Just like this world in 2023. You know the old saying, when it rains, it fucking pours. So all you fucking weirdos need to get a realty check with this one. It's art, but hey, if it excites you, I guess I did my job. I can't imagine what it would feel like to have a nail driven through your hand. I cry when I stub my toe, so I will leave you to figure out this one. If you can't, perhaps you can borrow some heroin from Edgar. This is an actual photograph of a growing plant. I don't use eye. People need to use their fucking brains more before it turns to mush. This composite this composite ID came from this composite ID came from seeing a little woman inside a jar at the local freak show. It blew me fucking mind. This one is for all those old farts who want a younger wife because, more than likely, your prize dime will be on the fucking blower to your lawyer to find out what she gets before you're even in the ground. Imagine trying to play a stereo record on Granny's old monophone. Trust me, don't do it. So, I hope our new video made you piss your pants with laughter. Subscribe, like, and share this video so that you're not the only one in the room that smells like piss. We will have more entertainment to blow your mind. So watch for us. Leave us your comments below. But don't be a fucking rude bastard. See you soon, and let's get this straight. This content is copyrighted. In other words, don't be stealing it, you're plagiaristic bastard.